Hey, sir. Can you talk a little bit about uh, kind of your off season? Look like you put on some, you know, some muscle mass, and just tell me kind of your your preparations for the spring. Uh, yeah, I put on a little weight, uh, just trying to stay durable, and uh, you know, being able to go in the season and just you know compete during the whole season. Uh, just uh, I've been working on my game a lot, and uh, you know, just you know, spring is going to uh, going great so far, and uh, I'm enjoying it. For a guy that had a year you had last year, especially down the stretch, what elements did you identify that you needed to work on? Uh, I want to continue work on uh, third level cuts, you know, setting up the safety and uh, running past them, and also work on, uh, you know, staying my, keep, keeping my pad level low. Uh, this one thing me and Coach Sherman and uh, Coach Jordan really worked on, really, really talked about is keeping my pad level low. Well, how much weight have you gained in the three months since you last played? Uh, since the last time I played, I probably gained about eight pounds. Eight pounds. Eight so pounds. what? What are you now? Uh, like two oh two. And who was that your idea or was it the coach's idea? Uh, my idea, uh, coach's idea, but you know, the main thing they just want me to stay fast. And you still stand fast? Still, yeah, I still got pretty good speed. <laughs> So, Harris, what uh, a lot of people talk about, you know, the, the last season and that really the turning point and, and your turning point as well, what was it that you feel that uh, was for you that you felt the light bulb clicked on there in the last half of the season in your game? Uh, I really think it was the opportunity. Uh, just, you know, everybody don't get the opportunity, but when the opportunity comes, you have to make it count. Uh, that was my main thing. Uh, you know, I had all the tools. I just, you know, had a chance to show it. And, you know, you know, the season went well, and uh, we played great. What are your conversations with C. Mike been like now that he's coming back along, and now you're gonna, they're gonna have to try to find a way to get both you guys on the field? Right. Uh, conversation still the same. Just continue encouraging him, and you know, stay on him about you know certain things, and also just keep encouraging him about his leg. You know, you know, just tell him don't worry about it. Um, just run. You know, be himself, and uh, he's doing that. How has his attitude been throughout the whole thing, the recovery, and now especially now that he's taking a couple of licks and realizing, okay, it's okay, you can get hit and right. get back up. Uh, it's, it's been great. Uh, he's still the same guy, still the same C-Mike. Uh, I think he's, uh, he's, he's maturing, and uh, I think that's going to help him in the long run. How far do you think this offense can go in the fall? Y'all have everybody back at the center. I know the center's a key position, but all the skill players, Dan Hill, I mean, how good can y'all be? Uh, we, can, we can be real good. Uh, we just have to continue to prepare and uh, just rely on each other, and I think that'll take us a long way. Uh, the sky's the limit for us, and you just have to continue to compete. Is it fair to say y'all should be considered the best offense in the Big 12? Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that so far, but, you know, uh, but, you know we're going to compete, and we're going to try to get there. Cyrus, what are you going to be doing in late, uh, I guess the last Saturday in April, and or Friday, I guess, now that the draft's changed up, but how Thursday excited are you? It, it's what? Thursday, I believe. Oh, whenever it is, yeah. you're going to be watching, and how excited are you going to be? He might go one. Heck, he's a top five guy, Von Miller. Oh, uh, you know, I'm going, I'm going to have my fingers crossed for him. Uh, continue to say a lot of prayers for Von uh, and his family. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'm going to be, you know, glued to the TV watching and just, uh, you know, waiting for his name to get called. And what do you think that would mean, not only to Aggie football, uh, could be the highest guy since Corey out to go in the draft, but also for the city of DeSoto? Uh, I think it's going to mean so much to DeSoto. Uh, we, we're so close to our city, and uh, a lot of guys, a lot of athletes come out, and uh, he's the latest guy to come out now. And, uh, you know, for the for the Aggie Nation, it's going to be, you know, tremendous. You know, guys, you know, don't really get drafted that high, and he's, he's a guy, you know, to show that. So I think it's going to be great. What has he done to inspire you, just the way he came out, that positive attitude, and had such a monster year last year, and kind of led from the front all year? What has he done? Now you're a senior, and it's time to carry that torch. Right. Uh, Really, I talked to Vaughn uh, probably a week ago, and he just told me make each rep count and uh, just take each play, you know, like it's a game. And you have to continue with that mindset to be a senior, and you have to do that to show younger guys so they can, you know, continue to lead the way in the near future. Um,